Hey guys, what's going on? You're watching Shade Review, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the new Ray-Ban RB4253 sunglasses. These sunglasses at first look like they have circular lenses, but taking a closer look at them, you can actually see that these sunglasses do indeed have a pilot shape lenses similar to that of the Ray-Ban Aviator. These sunglasses have a really cool looking double bridge. So the nose rests are attached to a flat bridge and then we have a really tall upper bridge here on the top. Just like the Aviators, these sunglasses have metal gold temples with acetate ear rests. I think these sunglasses look really cool. They draw elements from old classic Ray-Bans, but then also with their cool new flat double bridge, add a lot of modern elements to these sunglasses. These sunglasses are made in Italy. They have 53 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge. So these frames are made out of Ray-Bans acetate plastic and then the gold accents on these sunglasses, of course, are made from metal. Now to talk about practicality, these sunglasses are not very good at being sunglasses, unfortunately. They do look really good, but as far as practicality goes, they are not so good. So first off, as you guys can see, there is a huge gap where I can fit about three fingers in from the top. With these sunglasses pushing up all the way against my face, I can still fit about three or four so the light can just come in here and go straight into your eyes. A lot of times when I'm wearing these sunglasses, I actually do end up squinting because they really don't give you too much protection, especially up high. Now on these sides, you have even worse protection, which I really didn't think was possible, but it is. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is how loud these frames are and how many squeaks they make. So right now I'm just going to be quiet and I'm going to move the frames around a bit. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm spending almost $200 on a pair of non-polarized sunglasses, I expect to not have to squint when wearing them, and I expect the frames to not squeak like crazy when picking them up and putting them on your face. The only thing really good about these sunglasses is the look. I really do think these sunglasses look really nice on the face. I guess these sunglasses are going to be something that you wear for outdoor parties when you're not in direct sunlight. And you're going to wear these sunglasses as a style accessory and not really for practicality reasons. That being said, these sunglasses cost $185 on Ray-Ban's website. However, if you are thinking about buying these, you can pick them up on Amazon for around $150. So if you're thinking about buying these sunglasses, I definitely recommend doing that. I definitely would never want to pay full price for a pair of sunglasses like these. So I'll make sure to leave a link in the description down below to Amazon if you guys are thinking about picking these up. That's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up down below as always. And of course, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any new sunglass reviews or comparisons that I upload. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video and I will catch you all in the next one.